let's indulge in the rich and comforting flavors of crock pot rum raisin bread pudding. It's perfect for a cozy night in or a special occasion. This bread pudding is sure to become a family favorite. I'm Wendy and this is the Baker's Loft. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's October and you know what that means, Crocktober. This is one of my favorite times of year and I'm participating in a collaboration today hosted by my friend Molly Purcell. There are a bunch of other fabulous channels participating as well and I'm going to have the playlist of everybody's crock pot meals in the description below. We'll have you covered for breakfast, dinner, and dessert. So it's time for you to take out your crock pot and make some delicious and comforting meals. So let's dive into this bread pudding recipe. The first thing we want to do is get our bread ready. I'm using challah bread today. I like challah bread because it has kind of a sweetness to it, but a nice alternative would be to use a French baguette. The key to good bread pudding is to use stale bread. So when you buy your bread, leave it out overnight uncovered so you can get that staleness. When you're done slicing your bread, you want to cut it into cubes. I like to cut my bread into one inch cubes so that it's nice and uniform. Once we have our bread cubed, we need to prepare our raisins. Today I'm using golden raisins. It's just a preference of mine, but feel free to use dark raisins. We need to add rum to our raisins. I don't have any rum, so I'm substituting rum extract. I'm gonna give the raisins a nice little stir, and then we're gonna microwave our raisins and rum for about 20 seconds. Here's my trusty crock pot. We're gonna pour our bread cubes into the crock pot and top it with our rum raisins. Now it's time to prepare our custard for our bread pudding. In a large bowl, we're gonna to whisk together five large eggs until they're well combined. Now it's time for our heavy cream and our full fat milk. No holds barred here, we're going the full fat route. In goes our sugar, our vanilla extract, and our salt. Continue whisking until all the ingredients come together. Now we're going to add our custard mixture to our bread cubes and our raisins. With a spatula, we're gonna gently push down on our bread so that it's all submerged in the custard mixture. In this little bowl, I have some brown sugar, regular granulated sugar, and some cinnamon. And I'm just gonna stir until everything is combined. Sprinkle this on top, and we'll give it a nice crust. Let's cover our crock pot and let the slow cooking begin. Now we need to set our crock pot, turn it on, program. I'm gonna cook this in the crock pot for about three hours on low. Press enter, and now we just have to wait. After three hours, you get this delicious, creamy bread pudding. I couldn't resist adding some caramel sauce to mine. It was so good. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.